Wyatt, who is one of the poets of England, basically constructs here a, a classic uh, Italian style sonnet. Notice if we scan the poem, we'll find that it's iambic pentameter, but that the rhyme scheme is A, B, B, A, then A, B, B, A, and then fleeth, cry, appeareth, feareth, die, faith lie. So we have C, D, C, and C, D, D. So it's a classic form of the Italian sonnet. He also constructs here what's called a poetic conceit, another term to be familiar with. The conceit, uh, not C-O-N-C-E-I-P-T, but the conceit, uh, C-O-N-C-E-I-T, that is something conceived in the mind. The poetic conceit is where the poet raises an allegory or a metaphor early in the poem, and then that metaphor is run through the whole of the poem. If, for instance, the poet were to think about a rose, he might think about the petals and the thorns and the color and the time of year that it grows and how a rose is given from somebody to their beloved and the smell of the rose. All those are elements of the rose that might be then brought up during the course of the poem. That's a poetic conceit. Here Wyatt is using the poetic conceit of warfare. He says at the very start, the long love that in my heart doth harbor. Right? It, the love that I have harbors in my heart, like, a, like an army hunkering down inside of his heart. It keeps his residence, his love the, does, in his heart. And he says there at the end of that first quatrain, into my face my love presses with bold pretense and camps, displaying his banner, like an army. The army presses forward and makes camp and raises its banner. Well, that same conceit then carries out through the rest of the poem, talking about warfare and the image of warfare. We'll see it come up later. But notice what he's actually talking about here is he's talking about the sense of love as associated with red, the blood. When he sees his beloved, he blushes. That is, into his face the blood runs and the banner comes out across his face. And he suddenly recognizes that he has said something or done something or betrayed something that he didn't want his beloved to know. And that we see that in the second quatrain. She, that woman that caused me to blush, is the one that has taught me to love and suffer. Why? Because we can't ever become lovers. I love her from afar, from a distance. It's like admiring somebody from a distance and you cannot make known to them that you love them. Consequently, you're always in control of yourself and you're always holding yourself back and you suffer for that. And this same woman, he says, wills that my trust, she has my trust here, and that my negligence of lust, that I don't try to, to fulfill my lust with her, because he really desires her physically, that both be reigned by reason, shame, and reverence. She, she, things she said, things she has done, things she has indicated seem to show that she doesn't want him to betray his love for her. And when it happens, when he blushes over something that they've said or recognized, she takes great displeasure with him over it. And consequently, he says then, when the volta occurs here, wherewith the heart's forest he fleeth, goes back to that conceit again, that love is like an army, and it's routed by the enemy. It's routed by being recognized in his face. So it flees to Hearts Forest, back to the forest which is the heart, and leaves that enterprise, a term that's used in military campaigns, the enterprise of attacking, being bold and striking forth to uh, accomplish the objective, and leaves it behind with pain and cry. Here the objective that he would have been conquering is the woman that he actually loves. But she has uh, basically been so displeased with his revealing that he loves her, that he suddenly goes from blushing to turning ashen, turning white. The blood leaves his face. And it's in that forest of the heart that love hides and doesn't appear. And he asks the question at the end of this section, what may I do when my master fears? If love, who is my master, is afraid to attack, what, what, what am I supposed to do? I have to be with love wherever love goes. Because good is a life ending faithfully, a nice cliche of, of military men. 
But essentially he says, I can't continue to profess my love for her. I have to refrain back and hold back my love because basically I've lost the battle and I can't reveal that I really love her.